Hi friends, welcome to session two of the Sunshine Club. I'm so happy you're here today. Again, it's Miss Casey, hello. I might look a little bit different because my hair is down, but it is still me. So welcome. I hope you all have had a really good time in between last session and today, and I hope that you and your family are doing well and that you're being safe. So today, I wanted to talk to you all about how special you are and how each of us is one of a kind. But first, like I told you all in every Sunshine Club session we do, we start with our sunshine and our cloud, okay? Now remember, I'll give you a chance to pause this video and share what your sunshine and what your cloud is, but if you don't wanna share, you don't have to, okay? So I'll go first. My sunshine is that I'm still really healthy and I get to work from home, which makes me really happy that I can still work and still help out my friends out there watching this video. My cloud, let's see. I'm, I am sad though that I don't get to go out and hang out with my friends, but at least I can talk to them on the phone or through video. Um, I think that's a really cool thing that we get to do, so I am grateful for that, even though it makes me sad that I don't get to see them face to face. All right, so we have a really fun activity. It's actually my favorite activity of all of Sunshine Club. But first, I wanted to talk to you all a little bit about how special and unique you are. So does anyone know what unique means? Think about it for just a second. All right, now if you know what it means, tell whoever is around you, okay? Good. So unique means one of a kind. There's nothing else like it, just one. Now guess who's unique? You, that's right. You are unique. I am unique. Your mom is unique. Everyone is unique. We have our own special talents and things that make us special that no one else has. So like I can share some things with my friends. Like I told you all last week, I'm a really good drawer. I have a friend that's a really good drawer. But did she look exactly like me? Does she act exactly like me? She may be close, but she's not the same. We are all one of a kind. We're all unique. And we are special because of who we are, not because of what we have or what we do. Sometimes that makes us special, but at the end of the day, you are unique and special on your own. Now, I know you all are thinking, wait, I know that twins are exactly alike. They are identical twins. That means that they are the same. Well, let me tell you two things that you can see that make them different. What are these called? Fingerprints, that's right. And even identical twins don't have the same fingerprints. Also, did you know that our lips are the same way? Our lips have a very unique pattern to them that is unlike anyone else. Did you even know that dogs, instead of fingerprints, because they don't have fingers, right? They have paws. That dogs, their noses are like fingerprints where they are not the same with any other dog. They are unique to them. Isn't that cool? Now something else that makes us unique is some of the chemicals and stuff in our body, but Miss Casey is not a scientist. I would like to be, but I'm not. So we'll leave that to the experts, okay? All right, now, so no one is identical. We are all unique and that should be celebrated. Now, sometimes we like to do things that make us maybe wanna leave a little bit from where we are if we're not feeling good about ourselves and we just kind of want to escape. And some people use drugs and alcohol to do that. Now friends, drugs and alcohol is not good for you. You might have a family member or a friend that does that. And we're not gonna think about judging them or their actions, but we're gonna think about what we wanna do. And if you are drinking alcohol or taking drugs to try to feel better about yourself, that's not the way to do it. So try to remember if you ever think about doing stuff like that, come back and watch these videos 
and maybe you'll feel a little bit better about yourself and remember that you are awesome and you do not need to do anything like that to escape, okay? Good. All right, another part of how we feel about ourselves is our family. Now, I know that there are many different kinds of families and every family is special in their own way, but no family is perfect. And it may seem like your best friend has the perfect family because they get to go on vacation or they get to go out to restaurants or they get to do cool stuff that your family won't let you do, but that doesn't mean they're perfect. I grew up in a family that wasn't super perfect and I was so sad about it. I thought everyone else had a great family and it was just me, but I did have a great family. They were just different. And to me, that meant not perfect. But as I've grown up, I've learned no one has a perfect family. We all have differences, whether you live with your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, your aunt or uncle or some other person. As long as they're making you feel special and they take care of you, that's a good family. So just like us, families are unique as well. And just because they're different, just like you are different than me, doesn't mean that you're not as good or your family's not as good. All right, I know I promised you this really cool activity, so let's get to it, okay? If you don't have these supplies at home, that's okay. When we get back to school, we can do it at school, okay? So don't be really sad if you don't have this stuff at home. All right, we wanna make sure that we're with an adult when we do this, okay? So if you don't have an adult with you, make sure to pause this video and watch it later when they're with you, okay? All right. So you are going to need a piece of paper that is cut like a square, okay? If it's not cut like a square, it won't work. Next, you'll need another piece of paper that's cut like a what? Rectangle, all right? And it can be any color. Purple is one of my favorite colors, so I picked purple. Next, you'll need glue. You don't have to have each kind of glue. I am going to use this glue for one part of the activity and then this glue for the other, okay? But you don't need both or you could, you don't even need glue. You can use tape if you want, but this is what I like best. Next, this is where you need an adult scissors. And these are my crafting scissors. You can see my craft stuff back here, but scissors and make sure they're safe to use. And then if you want to get a little crazy, and this is where your adults are really going to have to, you'd be nice to them if they let you do this, okay? Because it's a lot. Glitter. Where are you going to use glitter? You don't need it, but if you have it, it's a really fun thing to use. Just be really safe and careful with it because glitter goes everywhere and it stays everywhere. Okay. All right. So first what we're going to do, take your white piece of paper. You are going to fold it like a triangle. Fold it like a triangle. And if it's not perfect, see how mine isn't perfectly aligned? That's okay. Remember, just because it's different doesn't mean it's not perfect. All right. And then we're going to do the same thing into another triangle. Okay, so go ahead and do that. <laughs> And then we're going to do it not the same thing. We're going to fold in the edges. So fold in like this. This is Lawrence. Miss Casey is messing up. That's okay. We all make mistakes, right? There we go, I messed up, here we go, I got it. Don't worry. We're gonna fold it like this, which all I did was fold it in until the top, until you hit the top, okay? So it should look like this. So we went from this, fold it in, fold it in, to where both of our new little flaps, they meet each other in the middle. See, it's kind of tricky, yeah. All right, 
If you need a little bit more time, don't forget you can pause this video, okay? And if you have any questions and you don't have somebody to help you, you can always comment on this video and I'll help you from there. All right, so now's the fun part. We are going to use our scissors, be careful, to make little shapes in our triangle. Be careful not to make a mess, okay? So there's one. You can do anything you want. You can do squiggly lines. Squiggly lines. See? You can do it on both sides. They don't have to match on each side, don't worry. You can do circles. You're just gonna make lots of really fun shapes. And if you want while you do this, pause the video and play some music. Have some fun, right? We can always have fun. If we were in the Sunshine Club doing this in person, I would be playing some Kids Bob Radio on Pandora. It's so fun. It's what I used to do in my classroom. I'm sure y'all love Kids Bob. I love Kids Bob. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stop mine right there. But remember, you can do more than this. You can do less than this. You can pause this video and keep on going. Okay? But remember, it doesn't have to look just like mine. Or maybe you're getting where I'm going with this. We'll see. If not, we'll get there. All right. So pause the video if you're not done. Okay. Hopefully you're done. We're going to keep going. So now we're going to carefully unfold it. Got to be really careful. What does yours look like? Here's mine. Now, what does this kind of look like to you? It comes down from the sky. It kind of looks like a snowflake. And just like every snowflake, they are unique and we are unique. See what I did there? This is pretty cool. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we are going to put some glue and we're going to glue it onto our paper. And remember how I said if you don't have glue, you can use tape, okay? Or you can use like anything that you can like stick to it, like a paper clip, whatever you want. So we're gonna go ahead and glue it now, okay? All right, I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to use a glue stick and I'm just going to put it straight on the paper. Remember, just the top half. We don't want to glue on the bottom half of the paper yet. All right. Now I'm going to grab my snowflake. And I'm going to set it on the glue on the top half of the paper. Make sure it's all glued on there. Perfect. All right, so there we have it. Now next, this is my favorite part. And if you don't have glue or glitter, that's okay. You can use a pen or a pencil or marker, crayon, whatever you want, okay? But I like to do it this way if you can. All right, so. If you remember, we have our major message rainbow from last week, and we're going to end the session doing this. But first, I want you all to go under the I am part of the rainbow. And I want you to find one of these words that you think fits you best. We know all of these fit us, but find the one that fits you best. So, I am likable, capable, unique, and valued. So pick one of those words under I am. Now, you are going to write your secret message in glue. And remember, you can use a glue stick too if you want. I just like to use this because I can make it like a pencil. Or you can use pencil, marker, crayon, whatever you have. And I'm going to write I am... And then write your secret word. 
Remember, likable, capable, unique, and valued. If there's another one you want to write, you can do that too. I'm going to use our word of the day. Do you remember what it is? Can you see it? No. This is where the glitter comes in. You got to be really careful. Don't make a mess. I am. Let's see what my secret message is. I'm going to put glitter over my glue. And remember, if you don't have glitter or glue, you can write this with marker. It's going to work just as well or pencil or pen or crayon. And then when we get back to school, then we can do this together. Okay. All right. Are you ready to see what I wrote? What's my secret message? What's the word of the day? I am unique. We're all unique. What does yours say? Awesome job, friends. Awesome, awesome, awesome job. This was so much fun. I hope you see why it's one of my favorite lessons. So before we leave, we are going to do our major message rainbow. Are you ready? Repeat after me. I am likable, capable, unique, and valued. I can treat others like I want to be treated. I have meaningful relationships and people who care about me. I will make healthy, responsible choices. And I believe in my purpose and future. Good job, friends. This was so much fun. I will see you next time. Don't forget to watch all the other videos from Recovery Resource Council that are for kids just like you. We have other Sunshine Club videos with my really fun peers that I work with. I think you're gonna love them too. And if you haven't watched my first video where we do the major message rainbow, it's really fun too. So go catch that one too, okay? Thank you friends and I'll see you next time.